When choosing fish to eat, why is it so important to be thinking about what type of fish it is you are choosing to eat and where that fish came from? To answer these questions and to help us understand this a little bit better, I came to my friend here, Allison Barrett, Associate Communications Manager here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium to really help us understand this a little bit better. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for coming and asking this important question. Well, thank you for having us. We all know conservation is a must, especially when it comes to our seafood. What are we doing? What, how are we, what's our lifestyle right now with eating food? Seafood. Well, you know, it's interesting. Our consumption of seafood is going up each year. And so as we're increasing our seafood consumption, we're increasing our demands on the ocean. And we're putting the oceans at kind of this tipping point of can they continue to provide us with all the seafood we need? And in fact, uh, this year, probably for the first time, we'll actually farm as much seafood as we catch in the wild because our demand for seafood is pushing us to the brink with some species. In fact, some of our top predators are down to their last remaining 10%. We've outfished, overfished over 90% of the top predators like sharks and swordfish and tuna. And so we really need to start thinking mindfully about what am I eating? Where does this species come from? How is it caught? How is it farmed? And then I can make some really good choices and give the oceans a break. Well, this is one of the reasons why I really love this aquarium is the the breadth of knowledge and education that you have here. I absolutely love this pocket guide. I have one in my wallet and I was hoping you can explain to our viewers a little bit more about how to use this guide and I noticed that you could even get an iPhone app if you want to keep one on your phone. Is that true? That's true. We have a free iPhone app. It's called the Seafood Guide and you can download that and then you have that at your fingertips and you can search for seafood and you can figure out, you know, if you go on vacation, it's going to figure out where you are in the world and give you the best choices. So, but what we did for most consumers was a pocket guide and this is our 10th anniversary of putting these out but what we've done is we've used we've used this pocket guide like a stoplight so we've got green yellow red and with red we're saying you know do your best to try and avoid these species we have some concerns with how these species are fished or farmed and then you really want to be trying wherever possible to shop off the green list these are our best choices we think these are really environmentally friendly and then we have a good alternative list, so maybe your favorite choice isn't on the best choices list, but perhaps it's on the good alternative list. And we have some, some concerns with these species, but these are such a better choice than the avoid list. So that's what we're encouraging people to do. You fold it up, you put it in your wallet, and you take it with you when you go to the restaurant or the, the market, and you're trying to make a sustainable choice, then use this to help you find it. 80% of the seafood that we eat in the US is imported, but there are lots of regional variations, and so we've taken that into account. We've done market research. We figured out what's available if you live in the Northeast or what's available if you're in Hawaii, and we've put together six different regional guides that can help you wherever you are in the US. Okay, well I can tell you, you can download these from their website, handy to have, put it on your iPhone if you really want to impress, and thank you so much, Allison. Thank you, Melissa.